I gotta go through the, through the car. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Give me a little secky. Give me a little secky. How am I gonna get in there? I'm about to go from the other side. Teleportation, and we're back. But um, let me go ahead and get a little just the car. The battery is done for. Like the battery been sitting way too long to have a reliable battery. It's gonna be charged enough to give a um, jump start and the car will start, but it's not gonna be enough to. I'm gonna have to replace that battery. As y'all know, when the police took the car the first time, that is something I had to do. I don't know why the camera. I mean, the battery is talking right now, but. Hey, I guess the battery can talk today. But hey! Maybe you should contact your original cameraman. Come on now, dawg. Red goes on red, black goes on black. And y'all follow the procedure like that. When I get out, I'm gonna stop rapping. I mean, I'm gonna start rapping. And that's just gonna be that. What? I hope you make it very far and rapid. As far as I thought. Just put E85 in the uh, cat, as y'all know, the cat is on E85. Those who don't know, yes, it is E85. So, gonna see um, what the battery is on, and then we'll be able to see, we'll be able to start it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is it this one? Oh yeah, y'all ain't see that, y'all ain't see that. Oh wait, still can't start chat? This bit still can't start. You need 12.3 volts to start a charger. If y'all did not know, that's how much y'all need. Oh look, there it go, there it go, there it go. Y'all can give y'all a little tour of the cat. So, this is what the striker looks like of now. Um, and yeah, like, get a whole little wrap around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all hear that? Stupid. Oh, cat said Reef finna be outside. What? What? Reef finna be back outside. Also, if y'all do not know, if y'all want to um not drive y'all cars in the winter or your cats in the winter, and I guess for those who want to store their cars, make sure y'all start your car um at least once or twice while it is sitting. It depends on how long you're gonna do it, but this is my first time starting it since it's been sitting. If y'all can hear me, shout out to Eagle Performance and Vinyl Addicts for the rap. And y'all, well, Eagle Performance is my tuner, if y'all didn't know that. He is from Iraq. I know there will be a lot of new people um, and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to do a little update video of who DK Reek is and who this cat is and stuff like that. So yeah, just make sure y'all stay tuned and stay active. You hear me?
see everything is still operating as normal. Um, everything is getting up to the right temperature, things of that nature. No check engine light, no nothing like that. I don't know what y'all seen that again, but yeah, um, this is kind of the. I can see there's no um, no engine lights. Yep, and there's nothing. You hear me? It's just crazy how like me and three built this bit and ain't no problem. Like this bit can sit for a while. This bit can get goddamn destroyed, sliding and stuff. And it bit just still performing as normal. And they want to say Hellcat's not reliable. Yeah, I. Right. So as y'all see, this got a little scrapes and dents in it. So I'm finna fix this up. Finna wipe it. And I'm gonna show what it look like when uh, I sand it down. So as y'all can see, I just put the wide body fender on. I know it don't look right right now. It won't look right. But the fender is on. As y'all see, the gap is consistent. I think it is. This is the Bondo that I have that you're going to want to get to um to basically put on the car. Let's see a scratch. That's literally all you would do. And you see how it's filling in the cracks. So this is what it looks like um, after I put the Bondo on it and letting it dry right now. After that, I will sand it down. And basically, if y'all know, y'all should know, that the putty basically filled in the gaps and cuts. And now I'm just sanding it down and it should be even once I sand it down. So what I'm doing right now is basically melting, like, when I put this on the car, this piece, this piece, and this piece is making the car, like, making this piece not be able to go on the car flush. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm melting um, the plastic off with whatever this tool is. I don't know what it's called, so you can't ask me. Everybody in the comments. And I'm trying to put it on here, on the slim body. How am I going like secure it to the to the car, or like how am I going to make it flush to the car, or is it just going to have to be like whatever I get type shit? This will be part one of making the cat wide body. Um, I don't know how many parts it's going to be, but yeah, it's too cold, so I'm going to go in the house and the video and probably go to sleep. It comes by.
gonna give y'all a few rests. I probably shouldn't be in the garage, but anyway, you know, you know, you know, you know, like, yeah. Uh, Murder Cat is back. Um, I got a lot I gotta do, for real. Cause it's not gonna be like this. It's not gonna sound like this. That's why I was like, um, pressing the gas. So I was trying to figure out who was here. But. Hey. I just went by to watch with a whole lot of diamonds to show how these niggas is my time.